Today is my first day of rehearsal back with San Francisco Ballet and San Francisco Ballet is a little bit unique in that um, they will rehearse their entire season in one big block and then they perform their entire season in one big block. So I actually made this piece last year, several months ago, and I haven't been with them since. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I always think it's yeah. really nice. It I can marinate nice. a little bit and mm -hmm. you can see footage, you can like think about it and then mm. come back to it. And you feel like you also grow as a dancer within that period. Mm -hmm. You always keep growing, hopefully. Mm. So when you create it, and then by the time you perform it, you usually are a little better. Mm. And it's just nice to come back to a piece and be like, oh, this is not as bad, as hard as I thought it was. Or like, <laughs> you just know how to approach it, or you have danced other stuff since. So you have learned. It's just nice. So now I'm here in town to put it on stage and work on it for the premiere. Um, and there's a lot of different elements coming together all at once. One of which is working with a brand new pianist uh, who we haven't worked with before. Uh, there's a lot of really difficult passages in the piece um, that are gonna take a lot of rehearsal time to work out. So I'm a little bit nervous and excited about that, um, but I think it's gonna be really cool. <laughs> Dancers are very attentive and listening, and I could, you could feel it. And thankfully, for the rehearsal, I have this monitor, mm. so I can check sometimes what they're doing. Uh, during the concert, I cannot, but I, when I, what I, when, what I saw during the rehearsal, I could, I, you know, be flexible with what I'm doing, and they're completely with every uh, musical element together. So I think, for me, it's not really difficult anything like that. But uh, yeah. I'm sure it's more challenging for the dancers so I'm curious what they will think of the live music playing um, concerto like this uh, mm. but, but I'm having just lots of fun. You know this complex piece of music wasn't the only challenge for the first dress rehearsal. There was also a massive beautiful set and costumes and pyrotechnics and lots of things that the dancers hadn't contended with before. It just went so well. I'm kind of beaming about it. Um, it's so cool when um, everybody just kind of shows up and does what they do really well, really well. I like people who, you know, taking a risk because we're, you know, we're here not for that long. Uh, that sounds like general in life. <laughs> As in like a life on this planet. So it just got a little dark, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so I do appreciate when, yeah, to me it's showing that you care. So San Francisco Ballet produced this really cool video that's behind the scenes of the making of this piece, and they're letting me share it with you here. My name is Trey McIntyre, and I'm here uh, as a guest choreographer making a new piece for the company called The Big Hunker. The piece ended up being about this idea of there being two hungers in life. Um, one is the little hunger, which is all the things that make up life, um, interviews, making a dance, um, having a career, um, relate all the things that we create to make our reality more manifest. Whereas the big hunger is the need for meaning, you know, really why we're doing all these things. Um, so the piece exists in the world of when we assign big hunger value to little hunger pursuits and how all the things in this life eventually die and crumble and they, uh, they fail us in the end. I like to enter the studio understanding very big picture what I'd like to achieve. You know, really understand the concept and what it means to me. Um, and in this particular case, understand the music because the music is quite complex. And then I do a lot of tangential research. Um, talk to people about this idea, figure out what associations I might have, whether or not they make sense to me yet. That way when I enter the studio, I have this treasure chest of things that I can draw from as I see now's the time for that um, feeling. But never as so literal as a movement. Um, I, don't, I don't plan the actual thing ahead of time. When I was speaking to the designer about how this would manifest on the stage, uh, we were sitting at a bar and I was saying the environment needs to reference something that we all agree on um, 
as a culture with and something that we give a lot of meaning to. I was and I said like the exit sign over there, and the exit sign was the stick man walking through a door. As he was asking, "What do you mean? What, what is that?" And as I was describing it, it became clear that that would actually be a really fantastic metaphor、um, for the piece. And so the piece is really about how we move in and out of rooms, the significance that we invest that exit sign with. I do、uh, pull in and out of of very kind of like. Hieroglyphic, two-dimensional form, and then push and pull it as it kind of breathes into a more human form, into a flat form, into a more human form, into a more flat form. So yeah, I, I've I've played with ways of referencing that,、um, and I wanted to be present in the movement because we don't actually see the stick figure character on stage until later in the piece, and so I wanted that presence to be there、um, before we actually see it as a set. Opening night here in San Francisco, and I'm really excited. I have a little bit of like nervous, anxious energy.、Um, not out of like insecurity about the piece. I'm really excited about it. It's more like、uh, the dancers did this incredible rehearsal this afternoon.、Um, they were just like perfect. And、um, you know, my note was kind of like just do that again.、Um, so there, I think there's like this feeling of like, oh, I just、oh, I want them just to be their best and to feel confident and, and to do really great.、Um, and people always say like, oh, there's just you know, there's always like the The、um, randomness of opening night, anything can happen, and that's what makes it exciting. And、um, I think that's true.、Um, I also think that's true of the way one might live your life. And I think、um, you know any like any feeling of like I need to control an outcome、um, is never the right thing. And anything can happen tonight. And I'm going to embrace however the dancers、uh, perform it tonight、um, because they're wonderful and they definitely, no matter what happens, come from an amazing place. Uh, and that feels better. That feels more like、um, I'm going to exper- experience tonight with a feeling of joy, and that seems more important because we worked on this big, amazing thing together, and、uh, that's worth celebrating. And it's exciting to be at the day to share it with everyone. It was nice. To, we kept saying after the premiere, we're like, I can't wait to perform it again. Yeah,、mm. the premiere, premiere just because、mm. it is. You know, there's those nerves and it's like <laughs> the responsibility of delivering it the first time, and then also just knowing how you're. Oneself will be at a performance of、yeah. it with like、mm. that extra energy. That's true. So it's nice to come back to it. Yeah, I was curious working with you again, but on a different piece and with a very different style of piece. Thought it was going to be different and similar, and I think you still. What I loved about your flesh of your great poem, and then also carried over into this process, also was. I feel like you really took care of the energy in the room, while like keeping it very collaborative and positive and. Everyone moving forward towards the same goal and wanting the same thing for the piece, but also being very direct with your vision and like constantly communicating what you were going for, giving very direct ideas and instructions and musicality, with also allowing us to kind of find it for ourselves and find like. Understand really what you were going for, which was nice. Yeah, and just kind of keeping everyone working, like really wanting the best for the piece because of the way you showed us so much、mm-hmm. respect and yeah, like, <laughs> I felt very valued as an artist in your rehearsal, which was this year really special. Amazing! You guys are so great. <laughs> this is a great. I'm just gonna save this for myself. Whenever I'm having a bad, a bad day, I'm just gonna listen to this video. <laughs> that's really. I'm. I'm glad that's what your takeaways have been with it. 
So it's my last day in San Francisco. I'm very, very tired waiting on uh, my ride to the airport. I didn't sleep much last night, but I'm just laying here kind of thinking about what did it all mean? Why did we do all this? And you know, there's so many like steps along the way into doing something so gigantic as to put a production on stage. It's involved so many people um, and it would be quite easy to relegate all of those acts as being um, the small things of life and the little hunger. But I do think that the activity of making art is a quest to connect to the bigger thing, to the thing that's bigger than just our, our daily and our mundane. And it, it's such a great example of it takes all those small tas tasks, it takes all those little steps that we have to, it takes living life to actually get to the point of making a piece of art that has meaning and can help connect us to our bigger selves. And there's an extra special thing um, about doing that with a group of people that really care about what they're doing and um, and, and bringing that together to make something. So um, this has been a really great experience, uh, figuring out something about, uh, about being a human and um, sharing that with an audience.